The longest government shutdown in U.S. history is now over. After disagreeing for five weeks, the president and Democratic leaders have come to a temporary deal, but some say they still don't feel at ease. KTSM 9 News reporter Shelby Cap explains. A couple of border and migrant advocacy groups gathered to rally in downtown El Paso. Their motive, the wall and how they don't want any money going towards it. And we're going to be here in the streets. And also we're going to be in Washington. The streets of downtown El Paso blocked off Saturday morning as those opposing President Trump's wall marched. The right to protest under the Constitution. Uh, so yes, this is the right way. Organized by the Border Network for Human Rights, Director Fernando Garcia says he believes these demonstrations will stop the wall from being built. It's an awesome day. I think people is showing that they care. Uh, specifically, they are they're showing that they don't want the border wall in our community. Those who are for the wall say it's a matter of safety and security. Trump saying if no deal is reached by February 15th, he'll either shut down the government again or consider a national emergency declaration. It started at San Jacinto Plaza, stopped at the Santa Fe Bridge, and ended at the neighborhood of Chihuahuita, where construction to fix up that part of the border fence began a few months ago. Reporting from the studio, Shelby Cap, KTSM 9 News. And with the